C is the longest side. It's called the hypotenuse, all right? So if you look at this triangle, what's the longest side? It's this side. And if you don't really, uh, if you can't really see that, it's always the side opposite of the right angle, okay? So the side opposite, but you, you kind of uh, hopefully should be obvious, you know, visually to the eye. This is the longest side. So that's always your C. Your A and B can, is the other sides of the right triangle. So this, the shortest side and this middle side is the A and B. It doesn't make a difference if you put this as B and this as A, but it does make a huge difference if you don't have uh, the longest side as C. So uh, once you um, understand that, then basically the Pythagorean theorem uh, has this you know obvious relationship, and that is this. If we square this side, okay, this middle side, right here, a squared, and then we add it to the square of this, let's say the shorter uh, side right there, that's gonna be equal to the sum of these things. If I add these up, it's gonna be equal to the square of this longest side, the square of the hypotenuse, right? So if we have a right triangle and we know the Pythagorean theorem, we can find the length of any of these sides.